What's up, you two? Let's talk about one of my favorite words of all time. Rare. I like rare because it adds mystique to whatever you're talking about to say it's rare. Whether I'm drinking a rare beer, or I'm driving a rare car, or I'm looking at a rare gemstone. You know, everything that's rare has to be appreciated on its own merits because my, basically when people don't know about it and you're saying this is rare then they they kind of want to know about it so that they know they at least know of it some people will close their minds off and only deal with the mainstream objects but you know there is something to be said for that too if you have more mainstream kind of objects and ideas there's going to be more parts available and more of a community that knows what you're talking about and could give you advice on whatever it is. But when it comes to rare, that's not the object of the game. Um, you almost want to show people that there's these things that you don't know about and they could possibly be better than what you're accustomed to. So deal with the rare, you know. Rare cars are kind of cool, except for cars have a lot of parts. So once the car goes rare, you can't really put parts back into it because those be become rare as well. So you get in this pickle of kind of like all of these 911s that are super expensive right now. All these air-cooled 80s Porsches that barely pass smog or don't pass smog anymore. How are you going to rebuild a car that, you know, the parts are gone for it. They're not making those parts anymore. And same goes for rare gemstones. Why, why get excited about a gemstone that can't be dug up out of the ground anymore? You're just flexing on to people something that they can't get. And that's the whole point of it. The word rare, it's almost used in a way to evoke emotion from you. It just says to you, you can't have me. Or you better get me right now because I'm rare. <laughs> I like rare guitars, rare anything. As soon as I deem something rare, watch out. <laughs> Because it's rare, you know? I personally know that there's certain things that are going to break down and I don't want to get too far into. But then there's things that, you know, they are in good condition. And if you pick them up and they're rare and they're in good condition and you t take good care of them, you can enjoy a rare object. Now that's where condition kind of comes into rare because rare means old and old means broken and old old and broken doesn't mean fun unless you know it's a proven object so don't get something too obscure too rare if you get stuff that's too rare nobody knows what it is no one could tell you about it you can't get any parts for it same with your rare gemstones nobody wants to buy it from you because nobody knows what it is nobody's ever owned that gemstone before so enjoy your rare things by yourself sometimes.